Yes. And we're just going to open up this whole body first, okay? So take a nice deep breath in. Inhale, sweep the arms up high to the sky. And then exhale, release, just release, come down. And then inhale, rise. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, reach up tall. And then exhale, reach the right arm over to your right side. Or left side even. And inhale, reach up tall. Switch sides all the way to the side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, let's do that one last time. All the way over to the side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, up and over. Inhale, reach. And a release. Roll the shoulders back. Interlace the hands behind you. Lift the chest up. And then we're going to exhale. Soften into the knees. Roll down through the body. And release the head. Inhaling. And exhaling. Soften into the knees. Release. Come down into a nice low squat. So we're coming into this yogi squat here. And we're just going to gently move into the toes. Inhaling and exhaling. Moving through the body here. Well done. For four. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Take the hands to the top of your mat, ground down into the toes and come into down dog. Just pedal out the backs of the legs. Nice deep breaths in and out. Two more breaths. And then we're going to wave the body forward into a plank position. So holding it here, grounding down into the fingertips. Nice and wide. Deep breath in. Exhale. Roll the shoulders down the back, inhaling. Exhale, soften the knees, release the chest to the floor. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, lift up into cobra. Inhaling. And exhaling. Good. Tuck the toes in, press out into the backs of the legs, pressing out into the hands this time, moving forwards and back, just opening up into the wrists, into the toes, the ankles. And then press it back up and out into down dog. Well done. Deep breath in. And exhale out. Inhale. Roll the body forward. Let's come into a side plank. So staggering the plank to start with, okay? Right foot in front of left. Inhale, rise. Right arm up to the sky. Inhaling. And exhale. Reach over. Big, big side stretch. Exhale, sweep the right arm down, sweep it all the way around and open it back up. So really opening up the shoulders here. Exhale, one more time. Inhale. And exhale, ground down, switch sides. Inhale, left arm up high to the sky. Press the hips up. Exhale, release. Take the hand down. Reach your arm up. Switch direction. Inhale, open up. And reach over to the top of your mat. Inhaling. Exhale. Release. Take the hands back down. Grounding into the fingertips. Nice and strong. For three. Two. One. Release. Come into down dog. For four. Three. Two. Take your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Take your left hand to your temples and then release to the elbow, inhaling. So finding this nice little torso twi twist, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale, exhale, ground the hands down. Now let's turn the toes around. We're just going to take a gentle skandhasana. So when I say gentle, use your hands, you don't need to balance here. And then inhale, rise up. Turn to face the back of your mat. So we're doing the same thing on the other side. So we've now got the right foot by the right hand. Right hand to the temples. Take it out to the elbows. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
Exhale, let's come into that Skandasana on your right hand side. So turning the back toes, grounding down into your heel here, inhaling. And then exhale, let's press up, toes facing in, heels facing out, and release the head down to the crown. So taking this lovely little inversion here. Now, got a couple of options here in this inversion. Either stay here, just hands to the ground. Maybe if you're struggling, hands to the outside of the legs. Or if you're a little bit more bendy, you can come down to your forearms. Whatever feels good here today. So deep breaths in, exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Shake off the head. Inhale, rise, half lift. Exhale, take the left hand to the center, right arm up high to the sky, inhaling, finding a gentle twist here again. Inhaling. Exhale, now take that right arm behind you. Now, it might be just to wrap behind the back, or you may want to take your hand to the inside thigh if that's an option for you. Inhaling, looking up to the, the ceiling. Exhale. Inhale. Now see if you can release your body down, still with that twist. Take the left hand to your right ankle and find that twist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's unravel. Take the left hand down, unravel the right hand. Right hand comes to center, left hand comes up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Well done, ladies. Take that hand behind you. Same thing again. Maybe it goes inside of the thigh. Maybe it's just the back of your back. Inhaling. Exhale. Release the body down. Take the right hand over to your left hand side. Inhale. And exhale. Good. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Unravel. Take the hands back round to center. Good work. From here, we're going to heel toe the feet back in. And we're going to come down into our yogi squat again. So take the elbows inside the thighs, lift the chest up. Deep breath in. And exhale out. Well done. Press out into the outer blades of the feet here as well. Inhaling. Exhale. Take the arm out in front of you this time. And then you're going to inhale, rise. It might come up onto your toes, opening up the arms. And as you exhale, you're almost arching the back, okay? So you inhale, open. And then you exhale, release. Inhale, open. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, open. Exhale. This time, take the left hand to the floor. Just bring the right arm over, staying on the toes here. Exhale, come back into this squared off arms, inhaling. Exhale, take that right arm inside the left leg, reaching over. Inhale, bring it back to center, open. And then from here, let's press it up onto our toes. So coming up through the legs all the way to standing, still on the toes. Stay here, exhale, hands to heart center, and we're gonna just release the heels and squeeze up. And we're gonna take 10 little plie raises here. Four, five, six, seven, so working on the stability through the ankle joint. Eight, nine, 10, hold it here, squeeze that bottom, squeeze those thighs for four, for three, for two, and now we're going to slowly lower down and we're going to come back up. So you're going to squeeze up and down, up and down. So I want you to really feel the adductors working hard here. You can feel the glutes working hard. Four, go for 10 of these, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, all the way up to points again. We're staying on those toes for four, 
three, squeeze that bum, two, one, and release. Take the feet out a little bit wider now. So we're going to come down into this nice little sumo squat or into our goddess. Okay, so take my arms out to the side now. So palms facing up, hold it here for four, for three, two, hold it here, good. One little pulses now for four, three, two, one. Let's take the arms over to the top of the mat for me. Step it back, coming into Chaturanga. So you come forward and then inhale, open up the chest, lift the chest up, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, we're going to come to bad down dog. So pushing into the backs of the toes if you can. Now, if you've got issues with ankles, which I know some of you do, just tuck the toes under, that's fine. Inhaling. Exhale, now release back down. Coming into um, plank, but on the back of our feet. But again, if you need to tuck those toes in, please do. Hold it here for four, three, two. Use those core muscles, one. Press it back up one more time. Hold, again, tuck it under if you need. And release. Last time, hold it in this unusual plank. <laughs> for four, three, two, one. And then release the knees. Tuck the toes in. Hover the knees off the floor. Just bring the knees in a little bit more if you need to, if they're not quite under the hips. So from here, we're going to draw the knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. Two more, one more, hold, and then a little twist. Take the right leg out, bring it back round, twist, and out. Okay, so let's go through this for four times, just nice and gentle. Twist, and then you're going to try and take a little jump through. So as you come through, we're going to take a little jump, kick it out, a little jump and kick it out. Have a little go. Don't worry too much if you fall over or you just prefer not to do the little jump. That's fine. Good. And then let's bring it back into all fours here. Hold it here for four. For three, draw those three muscles in. For two, for one, roll it back up and out. Inhaling and exhaling. Reach the right leg up high to the sky. Bend the top knee and open up the hips. Looking under your underarm. Inhale. Exhale. Release that foot all the way behind you. Press that right leg out, left leg out, sorry. And press the hips up to the sky. Wild thing. Inhaling. Looking behind you. Exhaling. And then sweep the right arm all the way around. And behind you, and open it up again. One more, sweep it around, open. Sweep it around, coming around. And we're gonna take that right leg, and we're just gonna kick it out in front of us this time. So see if you can lift it up. If you can't, just take the foot to the floor. But see if you can lift it up for four, three, two, one. And then from there, crossing it across the knee, you're going to draw it back round. And we're going to bend into that knee. So it's like a little figure of four here. Hold. Exhale, release, bring that knee forward. Pigeon. So now right knee behind, right wrist. Deep breath in. Lift the chest up. Deep breath in. Exhale. See so if you can sink it down. Now, if you want to put a block or a little blanket underneath your bum, please do. Okay, otherwise we're gonna maybe sit up a little bit taller by taking the hands back. But if that is too much, I just want you to find what feels right for you today, okay? So deep breath in, work with the breath, inhale. And then exhale, walk it down. Great work, ladies. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhale. And exhale. Maybe you want to walk it down a little bit lower. Bring the head to the floor. Great 
One more breath. Relax your shoulders, relax the glutes, relax the knee, the toes. Give the toes maybe a little wiggle. Slowly walk your way back up. Ground down into the hands, tuck the toes in. And from here, we're gonna press back up and draw that right leg back. Give it a little pedal out. The fourth, three, two. Hit the left leg up to the sky, nice and high, three leg dog. Bend the top knee, open up the hips, looking under the left underarm. Ground out through the right leg arm. So make sure you're straightening that right arm and then release the foot behind you, wild thing. So pressing up and out, inhaling and exhaling. From here, we're gonna release the arm round. Inhale, open, exhale, release. Inhale, open, looking behind you. Then an exhale, we're gonna release taking that left leg underneath this time. So same thing, I want you to see if you can hold it hovering off the floor, but otherwise you can just take the foot down. Okay, so inhaling, exhaling, working these abductors, okay? Inhale, exhale, take that left leg across the right knee, take the hand down to the ground, roll around, so bring that figure four, sit it back, and then exhale, left knee behind left wrist. So slide it all the way back down again. Well done if you're keeping up with me here. <laughs> so deep breath in. Nothing like having a little bit of a challenge. So inhale and exhale. So just be a little bit mindful of that back leg. If the back leg's sort of disappearing off to the corner, just bring it back in. Inhaling, maybe taking the hands behind you. And then Let's bring it forward. So again, might be on your forearms, maybe a block under your head. Otherwise, take the hands out in front of you, release the head, inhale. And exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale. One more round of breath. From here, slowly make your way up. And this time, leaning into your left-hand side, sweep the right leg round. Ground down, placing the left leg uh, foot inside your right thigh. And we're going to take modified wild thing. So taking the left hand behind us, sweep the right arm up. Inhale, open. Exhale, release. Bring the knee in, wrap your right arm round, lift the chest up for your twist. So Right toes are up, and we're looking over the left shoulder, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, exhale, unravel, extend both legs. From here, lift the right leg up and then the left leg up. Okay, so we're going to engage the core muscles and lift individually through the legs, inhaling and exhaling two more times really engage the legs engage those thighs keep the back up tall don't want to lean forwards or backwards and then from here slide the right leg in taking it into our wild thing on the other side right arm behind us sweep the left arm up inhale looking up and exhale release draw that right knee in left arm wrapping round right knee lift the chest up and right arm behind you, and look over your right shoulder. Inhale, exhale, inhale. And really think about, we're working into the tummy, unraveling those knots in the tummy, and really finding a little bit of space here. Unravel, and then extend the legs, now a little bit more challenging this time, both legs together. So you may want to take your hands out in front of you. You're going to engage your tummy muscles and you're going to lift. Now, if you do struggle with this, just go for those singles again, that's fine. But have a little go if you can for me. 
Okay, so you really feel his tummy muscles working. Two more. Oh, one more. And then from here, we're going to reach the arms out in front of us, slowly lower the body down, reach the legs up. And from here, we're going to sweep the legs all the way over into plow. So take the hands behind you, tuck the toes under, inhaling. And exhaling. Great work, ladies. Hold it here, deep breath in. And exhale out, maybe tucking those toes under a bit more. And then take your right leg up to the sky. And then your left leg. Good, hold it here, maybe flexing through the feet here. And then thinking about where your positioning is. So see if you can bring the legs even further forward. So they're really up to the sky now here. Inhaling. Exhaling. Making sure there's no pressure in the back of the neck. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the knees down towards the ears. Bringing the feet alongside you. Hands behind you. Maybe releasing the hands if that feels good. Now, if you can't bring knees to ears, don't panic again. Um, just stay either in your shoulder stand. Okay. Or if you just want a little rest, bring the knees towards the forehead. So that in this little egg shape. So wherever you are, if you're in the hands, uh, so your knees by your ears, I want you to interlace your hands behind you. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Release. Slowly, we're going to lower the back down. Take your time. Now, I want you to stay where you are. I am going to just swivel around so you can see me from the backside, as it were. Okay, so from where you are, we're going to work into those inner thighs again. So you have your legs up to the sky, and you're going to turn your toes to face each other. So from here, you're going to draw the knees out to the side, heels towards your pelvis, and then you're going to squeeze. I want you to press the legs up to the sky. So you're going to feel these adductors working really hard. Inhale. And then exhale. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay, so we're going to do eight more of these. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Keep it going. Let's go two more. Last one. Squeeze all the way to the top. Good. And then from there, try to keep the toes faced in if you can. But again, if you are having issues with the ankles, facing them out is fine. But we're trying to stay here if we can. So from here, you're going to reach out and back in. Out and back in. Good. We're going to go for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, last one. Now hold it here, little pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And release, bring it back together. Let's do that again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and squeeze one more time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then you're going to cross over. Now, this time again, try to keep the toes facing in, okay? And we're crossing the thighs, okay? So not the ankles per se, it's the thighs that we're trying to cross over. And you should feel this really good little squeeze on the inner thighs here. And um, for some people, you're going to be feeling that core working quite hard as well. So keep it going. So let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good. Bring it down. Extend the left leg up high to the sky and extend the right leg out beneath you. Again, I'm just going to scoot round now so you can see me from the side. So taking the leg up, inhaling, find a nice little hamstring stretch there. And exhaling, release. Take that foot down, extend the right leg up high to the sky. Same thing, bringing it in, inhale. And exhale. Take the right leg over the left knee, draw the left knee into the chest, finding a nice little stretch here for the bottom. Inhaling. And exhale, release the foot down to the ground. Arms into cactus, release that foot over to your left hand side, looking to your right. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Grab hold of that right ankle with your left hand. And then see if you can grab hold of your left, your right foot with your no, your left foot with your right hand. <laughs> okay, so we're going into this little pretzel shape. It might be that you can grab hold of your foot or even possibly your ankle. So we're coming into this little pretzel, inhaling and exhaling. See if you can relax the bottom, relax the back. Two more rounds of breath. Last one. And then gently unravel, bring it back up and over and switch sides. So we're going to take that right knee into the chest, left leg is crossed, inhaling, exhaling. And then release. So bring, bring that foot down and then taking the arms into cactus, release all the way over to the other side. You may find you've got one side that just feels that bit tighter than the other. So just wait to really breathe into it for me. Okay, take a deep breath in. And just let everything go. Let go of all that stress, all that tension in that body. Just let it all go. Good. Inhaling. And exhaling. Grab hold of your right leg with your your left leg even with your right hand and see even i get confused and then grabbing hold of the foot at the back okay with your left hand so same thing again taking that little pretzel inhaling and exhaling inhale and exhale And then gently release, unravel, bring the knee back up and over. And then from here, let's rock and roll, coming up to seated, crossing the legs, hands out in front, and we're going to jump it back. So staying here, we're going to make this a little test for the core. So we're going to step it out one side and then the other. So nice deep breaths in, stepping it out, building up some heat again. I'd hate to think that you weren't, um, you know, warm enough. So keep it going. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Feel the glutes working, hopefully two. One. Now bring that leg up, little squeezes here. For eight. Seven. Flexing the foot. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, draw the knee up and in, and reach out. Up and in, four, for three, for two. And last one, step it forward, and we'll come into crescent. So grounding down that front leg, inhale, rise. Deep breath in, press out into that back leg. Make sure the weight sits into the back leg here. 
take the right arm down by your side, reach the left arm up, and we're going to take a nice little psoas stretch here. So inhaling, exhaling, reach your arms up high to the sky, and open out into warrior two, hold, look down the midline of the arm, inhale, and exhale, take some circles here. For eight, going backwards, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch direction, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take the right elbow to the right knee, left arm up high to the sky, inhale, exhale, make sure the shoulder isn't collapsing into the neck, so we're pressing it away. Well done. Take the right arm, sorry, left arm overhead and take the right arm underneath. Hold for four, three, two. Inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, and then let's uh, stack it to the top of the mat. Step back, coming into the other side. So now, left leg rises, little pulses for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Draw that left knee into the chest for one, two, three, four. Step it forward. Look ahead. Inhale, rise. Reach your arms up high to the sky. Deep breath in, inhaling. Exhale, take the left hand down by your side. So as stretch. So reach your right arm up and over. Big side stretch. Exhale, inhale, exhale, rise, bring the arm up, open warrior two. So opening into that warrior two, look down the midline of the hand, inhaling, and exhaling. So little circles back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch direction, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Out, left elbow to left knee. Right arm up high to the sky. Well done. Right arm overhead. So big stretch. And then left arm comes out. Let's hold it there. For four, three, two. Inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior two. Let's take it to the top of the mat again. Step the left leg back, bend into the knees, jump forward for our yogi squat. Hold it here, elbows inside the knees, lift the chest up and just take a moment to breathe. Great work, inhaling and exhaling. Now, if those wrists are a little bit achy, take the backs of the wrists together, just press them in together towards each other. Good. And then same thing, but you're going to place the hands together, placing them down towards the ground and just hold it here, here and here. Well done. And then maybe just take a few little rolls out with those wrists. If you need to come out of your yogi squat, please do. Um, I know for some people this is a little bit uncomfortable after a while, we haven't done it for a little while, so just take your time. Good work. Great, so taking the hands back out in front of us, we're gonna roll the body all the way up. Heel to the feet back in, take the hands underneath your feet. Now, if you wanna bend the knees a bit more, just to make it a bit more comfortable to get under there, that's fine as well. Deep breath in, and as you exhale, either just relax the head down, or see if you can straighten out through the backs of the legs here, whatever feels right. You can maybe gently rock forwards and back into the hands, giving them a little bit of a massage here. Um, just find whatever feels right for you here. Inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths. Really thinking of filling up the ribs, opening up the whole body. And exhale. Good. One more round of breath here. Good. 
and then gently unravel those hands. Great work. Okay, so from here, hands out in front of you slightly, and we're just going to gently move out into the toes. Find a little bit of movement, opening up those hamstrings here as well. For two. For one. And then from here, we're going to have a little play. So we're going to be jumping back, jumping back. And then we're going to take the arms out in front of us. And you're going to have a little go just jumping forward, okay? So quite easy kind of little jumps, like almost like little bunny rabbit jumps, okay? As you come back. And then same thing, coming forward and forward. We that one more time. So we're going to come back, come back. Now at the bottom end here, we're going to then walk our way all the way out coming into our plank, and we're gonna come into a little press, hold, and then inhale, drive the body up. Exhale, walk it back, standing all the way to the top. So a little bit like an inchworm, but just gonna make it a bit more interesting, okay? So you've got this kind of little chaturanga press at the end, and then we come back up. So slide all the way down, walk your way out, Come into a little chaturanga press, hold. Inhale, up. Exhale, walk it back. Roll the body all the way up if you want to. Reach up tall. Exhale, forward fold. Walk it out. Chaturanga press. Elbows in. Inhale. Exhale, walk it out. Inhale, rise. Last time. Exhale, walk it out. Chaturanga press. Inhale, rise. Exhale, walking it back. Inhale, rise. Grab hold of that wrist, reach over, big side stretch. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over to the other side. Inhale, back to center. Take the hands to heart center now, ground the feet together, a little balance here. So we're going to take the right knee to the left knee, and we're just going to stink it down into this kind of low Shiva squat, okay? So from here, we're going to take that foot slightly behind us, and you're just going to reach back and in, reach back and in. Good. Two more, all the way through. Last one. Good. Now this time, come all the way down, pressing it out to the side for a dragon pose. So take the right hand down to the ground, left arm high to the sky, inhaling. Exhaling. Bring the hands back in. Now as we drive ourselves up, I want you to see if you can bring the right knee in and then extend the leg out. Hold for four. Three, two, bring that leg across the top of the left knee, and then we're going to sink down, figure of four, slow, lower, hold it here, for four, three, two, and now take the hands down to the ground, walk them forward, so we're coming back into our little press, which we did earlier in the practice, sinking the knee, hips back. And then exhale. This time we're going to swivel around. So we're coming into what almost looks like a little tree. And we're going to take the right arm up high to the sky, inhaling, maybe taking that foot inside, open. Exhale, take the hands down to the ground, plank pose. Anger. Inhale, walk it back. Ladies, if you'd managed that, that was amazing. Well done, great work. Feet together. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. So let's try that on the other side. Let's see how we get on. Um, so hands to heart center, ground into the right foot now. So we're going to left knee to right knee. We're going to bend down. So we're coming into our little Shiva squat here. Take the foot behind us like a little curtsy, sinking it down for four, for three, for two, 
and one. Hold it there. Send it out to the side. Left hand to the floor. Right arm up high to the sky. Inhale. Big inhale. Exhale. Take the hands back together. So we're going to slide this leg all the way through. Bringing it up. Extend the left leg out in front. Hold for four, three, two, one. Take your left leg on top of the right knee. Back is tall, chest is lifted. And then from here, exhale, send it back, send it back, send it back. All the way down. Good, hold it here. See if you can get elbow to knee and um, foot. If you slip out, don't worry. Good, hold. Three, two, one. So take the hands down to the ground, walk it out again. So we're coming into that little um, figure of four squeeze. So we're holding it here, and then we're going to push it out, rotate onto the outside blade of the foot, taking that left leg inside and the left arm up high to the sky, inhaling. And exhale, swivel around, foot to the ground. And good. Inhale, Cobra. Well done. Inhaling. Exhale, knees up to side, feet together. That's, a, that's the end of the really challenging stuff, okay? <laughs> Release the head down to the floor. Inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One more round of breath. And then slowly roll the body up. Bring the knees in. And we're going to start to slow this down now. So take the right arm under, coming into our thread the needle. Releasing the head to the floor. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, unravel, and just bring the arm up, counter pose, and release. Switch sides, left arm up, inhale, exhale, bring it all the way under, inhaling, exhaling. Two more rounds of breath. Inhale, counter pose, exhale. And release. Ground down into the hands. One last time for our final down dog. But we're just going to ped it out the backs of these calves for you. So bringing it up. Just release down into the heels. If you want to pedal this out, by all means do. But if that feels good enough, you can feel that nice deep stretch. And just stay there for me. Releasing the head down between the arms. Shape of the head. And then slowly come down into the knees, tucking the toes under for a little toe stretch. So knees together, feet together, roll the body up. Back is tall, chest is lifted. Just stay here for me. Inhaling, closing off the eyes. And exhaling. Just relax your face as much as you can. Just give the jaw a little wiggle. Relax your forehead. And if you want to wiggle back into those toes, please do. If you need to come out of it at any point, that's fine. One more breath. Take the hands in front of you and then just release the feet. So come into kneeling now. And same again, we're now going to take the hands behind us and you're just going to roll up into the toes. Now, again, I know for some of you, that's really uncomfortable. I'm just going to show you a modification if that's the case. You could also lift the chest up to open up the chest for those of you who are here. If you want a slight modification to what I've just shown you, you can just bring the knee up and in so you're on the back of your foot. And then you will just simply switch over 
to your other side. Okay, so either or option is fine. Okay, so we're gonna take a couple more breaths here. And then slowly unravel. Okay, take the hands behind the head. From here, deep breath in. We're going to gently release the chin to chest, opening up the back of the neck. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly release, bring the head up, open up the elbows, just find a nice little stretch here. And then from here, I want you to exhale, but you're working on opening up the upper back this time. So not pulling into the head really, but drawing the elbows towards each other. And then inhale, open up the chest. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, one last time. Inhale. And then release. Now, if you're getting a little bit uncomfortable on your knees, please do just come to seated. That's absolutely fine. Otherwise, just looking over your right hand shoulder. And then gently look over your left. Back to center. Release the chin to chest. Inhale, rise, bring your head up. Exhale, release. Stay here one moment. And then we're going to gently release the head in a circle, one direction. Just noticing how this is all feeling for you. And in the other direction. Great work. Inhale, back to center. Exhale. So I'm going to come down to my bottom now. You can stay kneeling if you wish to. Otherwise, come to cross leg position. And I want you just to close off your eyes for a moment. So place your palms in your lap and your palms facing up. Closing off the eyes. And just take a moment to breathe. To reflect on our practice today. Reflect on the strength of the movement, the strength of your body, your ability to overcome the challenges in this practice today. And noticing your reconnectedness to your breath and your body and your mind. Relaxing the shoulders, maybe just moving gently into the body where it feels maybe a little bit uncomfortable. Just rearrange yourself, find what feels right. Notice any tension in any areas of the body that are not already released. And I want you to breathe into those areas. And maybe sigh the breath out. Just to let go and release. Maybe the last week has been trying or testing, anything that has come up for you, but you now know you can release and let go, knowing we can start afresh before the beginning of this weekend ahead of us. So with each breath in, I want you to imagine nourishing this body, full of expectation and possibility and opportunity and with each exhale, I just want you to sigh out all that stuff you no longer need in your body, all that stagnant energy, all that tension that you no longer need to hold on to. Just let it all go. Deep breath in, nourish that body. And then exhale, just let everything go. One more breath. Thank you.
head. Thanking yourself today for this practice to take care of yourself. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you so much for joining me. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>